Head behind your back! God, why do I have to go through this? What is that on the floor, man? Do not move, do you understand me? Yes, sir. I don't know what that is. Okay, right now we're going to the assistant in pursuit of a stolen vehicle. They're coming towards us. My guess is that he's trying to get to the freeway because he'll be able to take off a little bit faster. We're going to try and get up and set up sticks. They should be coming here, right there. Do we have permission to pit when speeds allow? I'm going to pit. I'm going to pit. Okay, when watch I get the it, chance. watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Look out. Now we're looking, now we're looking. Blew the light at Bridgeport. We're southbound. Southbound from Bridgeport. We're gonna pit. Permission to pit. Roadways are still wet. Traffic is still light. It's gonna take gravelly. Got it. Whoa. He hit the sticks at gravelly, and we're southbound Bridgeport. Okay. He's gonna bail. We lost. We lost the tire, Mike. We're out. We're out. 424 is in primary. Unfortunately, our patrol car hit the stop sticks, so it took us out. We have several units behind him, so we're going to get him. It's just a matter of time. Uh, we're in pursuit of a stolen vehicle that Tacoma initiated, and um, they got canceled, so we're continuing with it. The vehicle that we're pursuing blacked out the lights, so they're driving with no lights on at this point. The first car is going to attempt to hit the vehicle, which is going to cause it to spin out. So myself and the second car will be the ones that take the driver into custody. And oh, boy, he just barely. Is he going to go? Oh, yeah, he stopped. Perfect. Yes. take it and clear it. Uh, it looks like they either unloaded it before they stopped or it was unloaded but it's clear at this point so nice. looks like it yeah. yeah hey Jeremy Jeremy are you there you okay you breathing oh hey okay, listen up Okay. Are you able to turn yourself around a little bit? I'm to talk to you. What's that? i to talk to you. I can't hear you. Turn the urinate up. Oh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand these rights as I've read to you? No. No. Okay. So, are you going to be willing to talk with us or not? Okay, that'll take care of that. He's not going to want to talk. Well, in addition to the gun we found in the stolen vehicle was some dope, and it looks like it's all packaged, ready to sell. 
20 bucks a piece. And I see some more over there. He had a bunch of money with him inside of a baggie. He had a felony warrant for his arrest and is on probation. So he had a reason to run, really has a lot to lose. What we're trying to do is stop undocumented aliens and disrupt the smuggling organization. Just had a vehicle come off his side street here, driving up the uh, wrong way, squealing tires and taking off. We're gonna see if we can catch up to it and uh, see what he's doing. What's the trail in Palm Club West? I'm anyone for Stay in the car. <clears throat> what was that all about, partner? What is that on the floor, man? Do not move. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. I don't know what that is. Yes, sir. Okay? Why don't you just get out of the car right now? My bad, man. Just... Get out of get right on the ground for me. Get right on the ground for me. Okay. okay. It's just a Pelican. 71 Fox, Sir, it's zero, just a pellet it's not even... Look straight down on the ground. Do not move. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. I don't know what that is. Yes, sir. Okay? Yes, sir. I have no idea what that is. I didn't even know it was in there, sir. Do not move. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. It's on the floorboard there. He's saying it's a pellet gun. All I saw was the butt end of it. Oh, oh. Ah, man. Oh. That's a good way to get shot. I didn't even know it was in there, sir. I Whose would... car is this? It is my friend Karen's. Your friend? You, you didn't see that big thing on the floorboard? No, sir. It must have been. Or it was seat. maybe the way you came around the corner back there at Osceola and, and Okeechobee, going on tire around that other car that was stopped at the stop sign. Yes, sir. I was mad because he was sitting there. And he okay. didn't move. And I honked one time, and he didn't move. Well, your driving actions, uh, of course, draws attention to you. Then you open the door, and next thing I know, I see a big gun at your foot. I did. <laughs> you know what? I'm not in the car with you, sir, so I don't know what that is. I don't know if it's a pellet gun, if it's a water gun, if it's a real gun. Roll over on your side, sir, towards this way. This way? Yes. Yeah. There you go. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, sit him right here. We're going to stand you up. One, two, three. Uh -huh. Sit right here. Go ahead and sit down. Okay, don't move. Yes, sir. I mean, look at the size of this gun. I understand. And how could you not see that down there? I, it must, when I spun around the corner, it must have just came out then. I don't even know, because it couldn't, I would have seen it when I first got in. What size is your shoe? What size, how big feet you got? About 12? About 11 and a half. 12. 11 and a half? All right, well, the inside of that car ain't that big, so this thing had to hit your foot or something. I'm telling you, it did. If I'd seen that, believe me, I, especially with you telling me to just stay in the car, I would not have opened up the door and then had it sitting there. Well, with you know what, even if I was standing here? Shot. I'm not out to play any kind of games like that. Get is there shot. anything else in this car that I need to be aware of? No, sir. I'm not going to find Jimmy Hoffa's body? No, sir. Under the seat or anything like that? No, Positive? Yes, sir. OK. All right, we can unhand Catherine. These are not comfortable. They're not made for comfort. I understand, officer. I didn't mean to put you in that situation. Do you care? Oh. Okay? Yes, sir. <clears throat> I thought you didn't have anything else in the car, man. I don't, sir. Just took a moment. How about all this marijuana? That is not mine. That is not yours? Okay. Come on. Going back to our My friend Karen's. I'll take responsibility. I'm the only one driving it, so I guess I'm responsible. All right, let's try this question one more time. Is there anything nothing else? else in the car. I don't know, officer. There's nothing else that I know of. 20 seconds of freedom. I love it. You understand your rights as they were read to you, sir? Yes, sir. You understand all that? Did you bring that stuff with you from Stewart? Mm, yeah. All right. So you're telling me that you had no idea that marijuana was in there? Yes, sir. You knew it was in there? Yes, sir. OK. Did you just come down here to buy it? No, sir. No? No, sir. And did you smoke any today? No, sir. No, where, are you, I haven't you have, yet, so. I appreciate your honesty. Do me a favor. Just sit tight. We'll be back with you as soon as we can, OK? All right. Thank you. Thank you. With the baggie right there, it's about 11 grams. Very potent marijuana, too. Smelled extremely strong when I opened that little center console. Let's just thank God that uh, this guy didn't decide to reach down to grab that gun sitting at the guy's feet. I think all of us get a little bit uh, 
spooked when something like that happens. We're on our way right now to assist another officer. He's got a subject in custody that's starting to resist arrest. We're gonna go check it out and see if he needs assistance. Hey! Hey, man. Hey, relax. Relax. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Hey, relax. Relax. Just one. Just one guy. Get on his back. Like, put your knee on his back right there. There you go. That's good. Just sit him right there. Sit him right there, dude. I don't need a mask. I'm not spitting. Oh, I'm not. Talk to a field sergeant. You will talk to one after you go sit down in the back of the car. Do you understand? Hey, listen, listen. You listen to me. Stop. Stop. What's your name? What's your name? My name's Lynch. Tell him to get my knee, his knee on my rib. Listen, when we let you up, you have to be cooperative or you're going to go on the ground again and you're going to stay there for a lot longer. Do you understand? Yes or no? OK, let's get him up. Be good. Be cool, man. Be cool right here. Thanks, sir. I'm take off the mask. I am thank not you. spitting. Relax, I relax. Do not relax, 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 relax. Hey, relax. sir. Sir, I'm going to take care of you, OK? But you got to relax, I not all right? A mask. Have a seat right here. Right in there. Have a seat. Just take it easy, relax. No, hey, I want your... Watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. All right, all the way in, seatbelt. You gonna be good? Yes. Can you close I have this? no right for the mask on. Close that uh, window right here. I have no right for the mask on. Cool, man. All right. Uh, we stopped him up in front of one of the bars up here. Uh, come to find out that he actually had a warrant uh, out of the city, so we were bringing him back down here. As we were bringing him back down, he got belligerent. Closer and closer, we got to the car, he got more belligerent, and then finally refused to walk. No, 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 close the door. He's trying to, he's going to kick the window. We don't have hobbles, so okay, take it right now. He starts hobble. kicking it. Yeah. He starts kicking it, request hobbles, they and sit right there, OK? The city. The city? Yeah. Okay, no. Mitch. No, I'm not. Mitch, don't kick the door, dude. He don't kick home? the door. Unless you get a field sergeant officer over here right okay, now. Okay, we'll get one going. We'll get one going. And the two officers that Listen, arrested me. Sit up, sit up, bro. Sit up. No. Nope. Sit up. No. Nope. Come out here. I won't try to talk to a field sergeant officer. You move, you're going to get sprayed. You make me all bite the out of you. Don't try to hey. bite me. What's up? Hold my hand, I tell you. And you want? Hey, it's all the on the court. Do it. Hey, we're turning this back on, okay? Listen to me. Listen He's going to try to bite you, bro. Don't. Don't. He's going to rip That's, that's rip why. Mitch. Hey. Mitch. No. Mitch, stop it. Jeff, we're going to pull him Mitch. out. He's trying to bite us and all that. Hey, that's OK. We'll take you like this. Come on, dude. Come on. There you go. Mitch, come on, dude. Don't bite. Mitch, stop biting, dude. Don't bite me. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Hey, you know what? Watch this. Hey, you guys are having military. Come on. Military lawyers, Come on. watch. Yeah, do that. That's good. That's good. Make sure you tie the knots when you get there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 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 No, no, 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 no. Mitch. Mitch, don't do it. Stop doing it. You don't know Calm down. I'm still acting Calm down. Open it. Leave it open. Grab him! Dude, would you chill? No! Mitch, listen, listen, calm. I asked Sergeant calm. Phil Sergeant and the two officers that arrest me Mitch, for the badging man. Calm, men. calm. No! Calm down. No! Stop trying We're to bite us Shut the door, get him out. Relax. He's good. Are you good? Yeah, his feet are down at the bottom. He's good. Listen, Mitch, I gotta shut the door, bro. I'll see your ass. Get your head in there. Mitch, please relax. Don't bite that. Look what you're doing. Why are you doing that? Mitch. Mitch, Calm listen, down. the sergeant's on his way. Can you please just get move your head in the car so we can get the door shut? No. We're gonna shut it either way. We wanna do it the nice way. Okay. Mitch, we really don't wanna do it by force. Okay. I don't want to I understand. Listen, I wasn't there. Remember that. Okay, I wasn't there. Now, I just got here, and I want to try and talk to you. All I would like for you to do is so I can talk to you. Then I'll sit up. Okay, all right. Fine. Finally. Get him out of here. We got the gate. All right, I'm going to move these gates, stop traffic, so these guys can take this guy to jail. There he goes. Calls for service tonight have been a little slow, so we're going to go be a little proactive. This area has gotten a couple of recent calls for narcotic activity. Right, let's check these two out, see what they're doing. What's up? What's up, buddy? You live here? Uh huh? You live here? No, I'm waiting on my girl right now. Your girl? Yeah. What's your girl's name? Paul. 
Got reason. anything on you you shouldn't have? Yeah. Now then I'll step up right up here. Right here, right in front. Put your hands on the hood. You ever been arrested before? No. Never? Ever? How long you been in Vegas? I've been in Vegas for a couple hey, months. Stand right here in front. What are you doing here? I'm here waiting for my sister. Step on out and talk to me for a second. Sure. Just step in front for me, grab the hood of the car. So what's the problem? Hey, you guys just hanging out here, you don't live here, you're picking people up. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands behind your back right now. What? What am I doing? I, I'm going to drop you in a second. You put your hands behind your back. All right, put this hand behind your back. Put it on. What did I do, sir? I, I'll tell you in a minute. What did I do? Hog that. You turn around on me again, I'm going to make that. What did I do? For pursuit. Heading towards. Go. 725 direct. We're going on the TAM from Cleveland. Making a right on TAM. All black. Blue jeans, black shirt, BMA, braids in the hair, faded jeans. Stop him! Stop him! Mate, 2204. Let me see your hands! Oh, see your hands now! Come on, let me see your hands. Both of them, both of them! Both of them, get your hands. Come on, crawl out towards me. Crawl out towards me. Do you only want one or what? Yeah, the other guy was in the other car. Code four, one in custody. We're gonna retrace our steps. People run, they have stuff on them that they want to get rid of. No. Yeah? Look at this. What do you think this can be? This could be. Oh, individually packaged and everything. Nope. Oh, now he's really going. Good, good eye, brother. That looks to be about over 10 pieces of rocks in here. It's enough for trafficking. All right, so what's up? I was buying some marijuana, sir, from the guy in the red shirt. That's what I was doing, sir. And I was not, that is not my van, sir. I swear to God. It's not your van, but you're in the driver's seat. I was buying the marijuana, I gave the guy my money. He, he had a whole lot right on you. Here. He said, wait right here, and he said he'd be right back. That's what he said to me. He wasn't right back, though. And I found crack right where you were. Right where I were? Where do you mean? Yeah, crack, baggy. You ain't found no crack where I was. I bro. did. That's Don't lie to me. Sir. I'm going to start tacking stuff on. All right? I'll give you a few minutes to think. What are you doing here? I was waiting for my sister. Waiting for your sister. This guy's saying something else. I don't know that guy. You don't know him at all. You're parked. Look at it from our perspective. You're parked right behind him, right? I just pulled up. You're parked right behind him, right? Yeah. All right. He's here. You're there. It's a high narcotics activity area. Yeah. He told me. He told me he knew you. He admitted it. I tested the drugs that we found. Both came back positive for crack cocaine. I tested two just in case. So. Good enough. Uh, he had ten pieces of rocks in there. Um, That's good weighted, enough. Uh, Four point two grams. All it's right. good for trafficking. All right, stay by the car, cut you a big break. What yeah. you're doing on your own time and your own business with whoever and however much you're paying, that's on you. Go. You want to know your charges? Yeah. All right, you're going for possession of a stolen vehicle. You're going for the crack. It was tested, it's positive, individually packaged for sales. You're going for obstructing a police officer. All right, any other questions? So I had a vehicle roll a stop sign back there. Came, a, saw going to a known drug area earlier. So we're gonna pull it over and see where they're coming from and what they're doing. Happy. One ninety two in Stockton. Stop. Just uh, trying to keep him in sight, see where he's going. 306 Foxtrot. 306 Foxtrot. 
Well, ten four vehicles not stopping. Give that twenty eight to Melbourne. He's gonna go down into the university area. Three oh six is on Line Street, twenty three. Hand behind your back. I don't have one. I'm a good officer. Get up. Why the boys want? And, and I don't understand it. All they had was an open container. Back door. Clean. Yeah, I'm sitting there. Sorry about it. Yeah. Sorry, my, my leg dislocates. Why are you late? It's probably gonna be stolen. The steering column's popped. You can see where the the side windows popped right there, where they broke it and. Stole the vehicle and popped the ignition. How many people were in the car? Three. Three? Why'd you run? Oh boy said break out and run. And I was like, officer, oh, I don't know why. And, and that and that's why I stopped. Okay, who was who was in the car? See now that I don't know. I can tell you where he lived. Where'd you live at? One one lives in my trailer park, and the other one lives off a of university somewhere. Alright. Got a sledgehammer, burglary tools. Use to smash a window or to break into a house, either one. Got a lot of items from a uh, carton of cigarettes. Might have been a smash and grab or something that hasn't been reported yet. Hello. Hi. You didn't notice your car was gone at all? I uh, last time I saw it was 6 30 this afternoon. I mean, 6 30 this afternoon? Yeah. I went to dinner and came back, didn't come back outside. Well, the description was uh, two white guys, and there's another white guy in the back of my vehicle, and I'll, I'll bring him out and let you take a look at him and see if he looks familiar to you. Okay. The other two we didn't catch. Your car's a little messed up. The steering column's popped. The little side window's popped out so they can get into the car. Okay. And but other than that, it's still drivable? You got a flat tire. Well, you got flat a flat tire. tire in the front. But other than that, I mean, it's nothing that can't be fixed. Okay. Okay? Just uh, stand right here, and I'll just pop him out of the car. Okay. And you can take a look at him, see if he looks familiar to you, see if he's been around the area, okay? okay. Go ahead and step out just one second for me. Face that way. I don't recognize him. You don't recognize him? No. You want me to go closer so you can no, see better? No, I don't recognize him. What did they say when I went to pull you guys over? They said, tuck and roll, hold on. I was like, what the? Tuck and roll, hold on, that's what they said? That's what they said. He would come around that corner over there. I was like, hold on, holy. And then he come around this corner, went up into there, and I was like, oh my god. I thought we was going to roll in the next And then what he, right he said, run? Is that what he said? What? Dude, I ain't never run from the police in my life. I ain't never had to. Well, what did you, you, you already said you ran out of the car. Yeah, I ran out of the car. And yeah, I was trying to run. All right, well. I agree to that. You live and learn, right? Won't do it again? Ever. No, no. We're en route to a accident. Sounds like one or two cars involved. The driver of one took off running. Uh, several officers have seen him running, it sounds like, but he's still beating through the block, so we're going to see if we can cut him off up here. Yeah, let's uh, get a perimeter going. Um, at 944, got a better location of where this guy went. Maybe you can set it up, see if there's a dog available. Okay. Well, Two counts of hit and run to property. Did you hear what we have? Yeah, hit and run. Yeah, two counts of hit and run property. property um, Tim talked to witnesses that last saw him running this way through the field. Okay. So we've got the perimeter locked down. Sounds great. I didn't see anything pushed down over there, did you? It kind of ended just back over here. What about this shed thing right here? OK, we're there now. That a boy. What you got there? Okay, he's here. Okay. Cut that. 
Hang on a sec. See your hands. See your hands. You're going to get bit. Come out. You're going to get bit by a police dog. Let's see your hands. Come out. You're going to get bit. He's gonna bite anyone who gets. No, no, wait, wait, wait. Get back. No. Hang on. Stop. 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 I'll talk. I'll talk. I'll talk. Okay. Let me get Hold on. Let's get the dog out. I got him. Watch the stuff. I'm still. Let me go in. 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 Let Right here, right here. Ready? Yep. Here, I got it, I got it. Nine, seven, five, six, two, one. Got any weapons or needles, anything else that's gonna poke me or stick me? Put your knees up to your chest, sit up on your butt for me. There you go, stay. Do we have a car close? Okay. Stand up for me. Stand up, bend your knees. Stop, stop, hold still. What's your problem? Why can't you hold still? Because I'm dirty. I'm trying to dust my... Have a seat. Hi, can you explain to us what happened? All I know is he come up behind me and I kind of looked up in the mirror and I don't know if he hit anything else behind me, but he hit the back of my car, hit the fence oh, out yeah. there on the golf course. Okay. And then he come up driving up beside me. I was trying to pull off the road so that I can get out of the way of traffic. And he come right up beside me and I didn't, you know, I was like, okay, I just want to stop. And he come flying by me and whipped a U-turn right there and nailed the, the post the post and the bricks and stuff. Uh -huh. He got out, kind of motioned me like this to come over. And by the time I got over here, he was gone. OK. He just disappeared? Took off running? Yeah. OK. Is this the only place there's damage? Yeah, is the right back? here in the back. OK. I did pull the bumper out a little bit because it was rubbing it on my tires. Tire. in there? Okay. Yeah. At least it's going to be drivable. It's fixable. At least no one's hurt. That's an important thing. It was a little bit of a track, but we've got him and he'll be held accountable. All right, Brian, you want to tell me about what happened out here today? Um, I hit somebody and I got the right to be. And you what? You hit my, somebody? My jeans got dirty. Look at that. I know. All right. Well, do you understand what you're being arrested for? For running through a field. For running through a field? I don't know. Hit and run. Sounds like you've got a couple of warrants. And he's suspended. And he's going to be charged with three counts of hit and run to property, and he'll be going down to county. <sighs> All right. 12 Yankee Four. It's a white two door tinted windows. All right, we're, right now we're attempting to catch up to a uh, car and uh, see if we can get an ID on the driver. The car left uh, the scene of an accident. And uh, other city cops were trying to stop the vehicle and it's failing to stop. Yep, this is it. Yeah, that's it. This is it. Yes, it is. It is. Yeah. Yankee Ford. It's going to be a signal three veal. He just sideswiped us. We're northbound on 95. Uh, it's a white male occupant, long hair. All right, this guy's already hit us. He's all over the road. He's out of control. We're just trying to maintain a safe speed. What? what? You advised earlier it was a signal three felony vehicle. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Watch, watch, watch. He's getting close to us. He's getting close. He's, he's slowing down with us. Hold on. Oh, behind us. And when he comes, 
Come to your left. Oh, come back right. Watch, you don't get off. Watch, you don't get off. Watch, go to right, 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 go to right. This guy's, uh, he's already ran into us twice. Uh, we're trying to maintain a, a safe speed. He's come close to taking us out. Watch it, watch it. He's been out drinking all night. These are all drinker seats. One of our local bars. $40, $40, $30, $20. Definitely been out drinking all night. <laughs> Sit up, man. <sighs> Throw him in the Mark Jr. Yeah. Oh, that's Steve's car, Steve's car. Stand up. Let's go. <sighs> this car is involved in a hit and run with injuries. He then came up upon us, seeing us. He, he sideswiped us. He definitely has no regard for anybody's safety on the road. It's like he's on a binge drinking. Why would you ram cars and take off like that? I didn't ram no cars. How do you think everything's got all messed up here? The airbags are off, everything else. Wow. I didn't know about that. You don't know about that? No. You know the police were behind you? Did you ever see them? No. no? Not until you hit me. I'm going to search his car for anything illegal, any weapons, any, any contraband, anything like that. From looking at the car, it, it, it kind of looks like he's living in this car. There's a pillow in the back seat. Right here, he's got a machete, which is readily accessible, right next to him. There's uh, really no reason to have a machete in your car. I mean, this is a perfect example on why I had to take him down hard. Once he grabs it, it's a whole different ball game. You all right? You're not injured, are you? What's going on? Well, you were involved in a couple accidents tonight. Remember that? I don't know, but I don't drive. I got a suspended license. Well, you were driving. No way. Yes way. You were definitely driving. <laughs> now we see a guy who's kind of lingering down here. In the... How you doing, bud? Yeah. You got him. You got him. What did he do? What did he do? I got this one. Yeah, he jumps up. What did he do? He's got double. We got him last time. Yeah. No way. He got to do nothing. Please order me. This way. What did you do? I didn't do nothing wrong. Last time you did anything wrong either, and you had dope on you. Oh, God. Oh, you remember you us? There, sir. Oh, what did I do? What did you throw out on me? What did I, you throw out? I we're didn't gonna, nothing. We're going to find what you just threw at me. What are you talking about? Shut up! Shut up! Knock it off. Please, baby, don't Knock do Knock it off. I like that. Oh, God. I just got scared. I'll talk to you in a minute, okay? He's fine. Baby, I love you. Why, babe? He's screaming for no reason. Boss, I love you. What's your first name? Johnny. Johnny, anything else on you? No. All right. Stop yelling, okay? Okay. I love you, baby. Don't, don't, don't leave me, please. I just got scared. Okay. Last time you had a little meth on you, and you, did, you no. pulled the same gag. We start crying no, and yelling. Yeah, well, I, I know, but I'm going to know me. Because you threw it. I'm going to lie to you, sir. OK, do me a favor. What? Lean against this car. Yeah. Take a couple deep breaths. Relax, all right? Why would I lie to you? You lied to me last time. I didn't. Yes, you did. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. But I'm not saying that I didn't tell you. I didn't know I have, had that in my pocket. OK. Pull my pants up, please. OK. You want to pull his pants up? You can. Go ahead. Oh. Oh. Let's see you pull your pants up for you. Hey, I love you, baby. Lean against the car, please. Yeah. Thank you. I didn't do nothing wrong. You did do something wrong. It's illegal to run from the police. Why do you think he ran from us? And he didn't run. He wasn't running to you. He was running from us. Well, so I'm really asking you. Technically, I he he probably did get scared. And but technically, I thought he was running to me because he's kind of like you know you hear you hear him. I love you. You know. Yeah. So that's why I thought he was actually because I said. Ah. 
Okay. Because we were fighting. Okay. And so he was, I thought he was running to me. Okay. It's not a role, that's really how he feels. Well, at the time. okay. You know what I'm saying? So you're saying he's a very emotional person? Yes. All right. Yes. Would it be possible he had methamphetamine on tonight? No, and I, and we're. And you're sure he's clean right now? Um, yeah. As far as I know, he's clean. Yeah. Shut up! Just don't take right me there. We're not Stop, Johnny. I got dope in my pocket. I'm going to take you back to jail again. I didn't do that. Stop. I know, but it's somebody else. Why do you do stop? Why don't you I don't stop? Know. I'm going to stop now. And if you go get cleaned up, please, I just want to change. You want to change? OK. I'm in trouble now. Why do I have to go to jail to change? Why? My wife was telling me I love her so much. That's not going to help out your uh, relationship with your girlfriend. I want to marry that one. Baby, I want to marry you. You know I do. I want to. God, why do I have to go through this? John, I love you. John, you would have one less charge if you had just stopped and said, officer, I have this narcotic on me. Are you going to wait for him? Yes. She's going to wait you, for you, baby. OK? Please don't. Come on See, over I here. Can I give her a kiss? Go ahead and give her a kiss. I, I love you, babe. OK. I love you. OK, John, we got to go. We got to go. She oh. said she's going to wait. Over here. I messed up. I'm going to jail now. Oh, man, I messed up. God, I'm stupid. What am I supposed to do with your dog? I don't know. We're going to get call Paul and tell him to take the dog, please. What, what Baby, when will I get out, babe? Have a seat, John, OK? Yeah. Hold on a minute. Hey, John, you no, I don't. God, why I don't? When I started searching down by his feet, he's got a little frisky, and I saw the top of this bindle sticking out. It's a crystal methamphetamine, and there's probably a, about a gram of methamphetamine in here. These guys are going to transport him to jail. Do you have anything to say to him before he leaves? I love you, babe. I can't reach you. I love you. Will you want to get out, baby? Are you proposing right now? I made a mistake. Did you know that I love you all my Lord? What's the answer? What's the answer? Yeah. Of course I will. Oh, you'll marry I got it. All right. Yeah. That's the first police car proposal I've ever seen, Johnny. Keep getting that chemical whiff, partner. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on, man. Who's running back there? We want to know. They manufacture their meth where nobody's supposed to see. Show me your hands. I'm up out of there now. Come on. Come on. It's pretty good size for Mardi Gras. They're just out here to have a good time. A very large crowd of people and all that. Excuse me. So got him, uh, uh, Tim, one of my security guys at the front door just informed me that uh, they got a gentleman in there kind of proposed that somebody's right. All right. All right. Go to the front. Saying he's trying to offer people to put these in their drinks. He said he can go back to the hotel and stuff. I am. I'm all in. Put your hands on your head. Come here. Why did I not listen? I mean, honestly, I had too much to drink. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sorry. Fold your legs. Fold your legs. Like Indian. Sit like an Indian. Sit like an Indian. Sit like an Indian. Now put your hands on top of your head. Tell me what he was doing. He was standing there in front of the stage, kind of like drunk like, you know. Two of the two of the ladies walked up and said this guy's got holes in his hand, he's trying to put him in our drinks. Can you go get him? And I walked over there, I felt his pocket, and uh, he said, What are you doing? I said, I need to search you right quick. I'll just step outside, I went in his pocket, I pulled out the pills. What pocket did you take the pills out of? Out of his left pocket. Okay. The bartender saying that he was trying to put these pills and women's drinks and trying to get them back to the hotel room. You don't drug women, all right, I'm not have sex. I mean, that's pathetic. I can get all right? sex on my own. Yeah, I saw that. That's why you, they had a, those three or four pills in there. You put them, trying to put them in drinks. I know. They were, right? honestly, they push, quiet. They were right. for me. All right? This guy is trying to... You know, whatever his concept is, as far as trying to get advantage over women by uh, slipping an unknown substance in their drink, that's uncalled for. All right, we're going over to Fat Cats right now because there's a fight going on.
Stand up. No. Stop the spinning. You hear me? Stop the spinning. Case you want the establishments here? The security personnel for the establishment apparently ejected this man. He started an altercation with him. During the course of his uh, detention, being spitting on everyone, spitting on the police, spitting on the other officers. In this, in this day and age, we don't know what type of disease or anything else this man may be carrying. He's an AIDS patient, anything like that. He's got to immediately subdue him as best as possible. We covered his mouth and put a shirt over his head. Trying to keep him from spitting on everyone else and, and now he's trying to butt his head Addison. up against the wall. You're not gonna reach it, Slim. You might as well relax. I went to college and I bet you know who went to college. All right? Stupid cop. You don't know what the, the cop. Yeah, go ahead. Tell us to relax. Looks like if it stays like this, this humidity, these people have been drinking all day. Everything starts kicking in, that alcohol starts kicking in, we start getting challenged. Everybody wants to be a star. All right, it's just about 12 midnight. This is the beginning and the end of the Mardi Gras season. We have our command staff uh, in place. Pretty soon we're gonna go down Bourbon Street, take the streets back in New Orleans for the Mardi Gras season. Right now we're responding to assist officers. Um, they're on a domestic dispute with a suspect who had numerous warrants for his arrest and is uh, wanted for felony domestic violence. Is running from the cops now. They say they got him on a roof at the residence, so we're gonna go see if we can assist. Somewhere in here. Right there. He's a supervisor. Right, I'm look, telling you right I, now, you're only acerbating the situation. Right, look. You're going to make things a lot worse for yourself. I'm already getting, I'm already arrested. No, you're not. Nick. You're stupider than I am. You can make this all go away a lot easier if you just come on down. Really? We're so not going to go you away. Go to jail. We're not going to go away. You understand? So maybe, girlfriend? honestly, maybe I should jump. Nick, maybe please. swan dive. Nick, Nick. Don't do that. Just don't do that. Please, no, don't do that. because that bitch set me up. for uh, felony domestic violence and uh, some warrants. He's saying he's not going to be coming down. He wants us to go up there and fight him so he can try to take one of us out. Where's the female at? Female uh, got transported to the uh, hospital. She had a big old lump on the top of her head. All right. Send it away. So I'm going to go over there, and you guys are going to have a big fight. Uh, for, on the far west side. Your mother, Gloria, is coming in a red car. And she'll be here momentarily. I want my mom. He's agitated, he's been drinking, and he wanted his girlfriend arrested, so we um, kind of our, did what he asked. He wanted to arrest her for domestic, so we arrested her, did what he wanted, but now he's not willing to come down, so uh, we're going to take the next step and uh, hopefully force him uh, uh, to voluntarily give up and uh, not harm himself. Hey, Uncle Bill's going to be with us the whole way, OK? Yeah, your uncle can go with you. No, no, you no, Uncle Bill. No, you don't have to lay down. When you get down, it's going to put you in handcuffs. Good, you're doing the right thing, man. Keep coming. 
Good job, man. All right, hey, put your hands behind your back, spread your legs for me. Relax, relax. All right, it's gonna be all right, man. You did the right thing. Let me get you a cup of water, right? You will sit down and talk about it. Right here. Right here. Right here. Right here. Yes, ma'am. Who are you doing all this? I'm the mom. I'm oh, you're the mom. What's going on? Uh, you know what? Six months ago, she went back to live with her mom, and somehow she ended back up here again. Okay. So when I got a call from him, he said Kelly had done some real ugly stuff. She had set him up. That he took the, it's not his son, it's her son, okay. took him swimming. She went to one of the stores, either Target or Walmart or both, and sold over $500 for clothes and bought it back. When or who hit her, I don't know because I wasn't here. Okay. What he's afraid of with the police is because he's got some petty warrants and he didn't want to go to jail. Yeah. He's saying that she set him up because she know of those warrants and she knew he was going to go to jail. So I've seen her do this before, too. Looks like he's going to be transported to uh, the Rialto Police Station for further uh, investigation and he's going to uh, probably eventually be taken to local hospital for a mental health evaluation. I'm gonna head over here to uh, this domestic situation we got going. It's a couple of deputies on scene asked for another unit. We're gonna go over there and see what they got. Yeah, but like... No, he's got it. We know what's going on here. These two are fighting, and he has a taser. That was right there. Yep. Yeah, you can have it. Just who are they to? Who are they? That's to my daughter. Have? That's her daughter, right? Now she's already. I've already gone through this domestic violence things where she hits me and I had to have her arrested. So then she thought she could do it again, and I'm because I was going to. Who are you guys? I'm That's my son and my fiance. That's your fiance. Yes. And who is I never been this man. That's her son. Yeah. That's my son. That's your son. Okay. That's you guys both witnessed this whole thing. Who started it? She did. We said it was time to go home, and she didn't want to go because she has the problems at home. With the fiance. Right. <laughs> What's going on? Nothing. Me and my mom got into a disagreement because Sammy over there is my ex-boyfriend. I used to date him before my mom did. And he left me for my mom, and then he just ran after me a minute ago with the taser. This is not the first time he's came after me. This is like the third or fourth time, and I've had to run. I'm, I, I'm terrified of that, of that thing. And I admit that I have a bench worn out for my arrest for failure to appear for a traffic ticket. Yes, sir, I do. What was the disagreement over? What was the, the deal? The disagreement was because I wanted to hang out with her, but she didn't want me to hang out with her because her boyfriend is my ex-boyfriend, and she does not trust us together. It was like five years ago, and it's been a disagreement since then. Oh, so it was five years ago? Y'all broke up five years ago? Yeah, no. When did he start dating your no, mom? My mom told him that if he continued dating me because I was under the age, that he was, she was going to have him arrested. So he left me and ended up going to he her. started dating your mom? Yeah. How old is he? He's 26. My mom is 44. She has always chosen her boyfriends over me. <laughs> Tell me what happened tonight. Tonight I told her, you have to go home. I have to go to bed. It's time to go to work. I have to go to work. Mm -hmm. We have to go to work. We have to go to work. You have to go home. I'm going to take you home. No, you're not. And then she pushed me. Then she opens the door and comes running out. She pushes me again. So then my fiance runs in and grabs the taser because she's gone right. off the wall. You weren't worried about him and her being together? <laughs> no. Okay, that, that's what she's saying. If he wants to be with her, oh, well, I don't care. Right. Just move out, <laughs> move out of my house. She gets the double whammy. So okay. we're going to write her for the, the warrant and we're going to write her for the uh, domestic. domestic. For hit mom? For hit mom because, I mean, it continues to happen. Mm -hmm. They have prior domestics, and I mean, it's she won't just... get a bond. Yeah, exactly. So, what's the deal with the girl in the car? Yeah. She says that y'all used to date you a few years ago. I had got out of deal. jail and didn't have nowhere to stay. I met them. Her mom let me stay at the house. About two days later, her mom caught us kissing and then said she was going to throw me in jail. No, I just oh, got she out. She so was. She told me she, I think she was like 13, 13 or 14, something like that. And then her mom started flirting with me, so oh, obviously okay, you can mom. see. Yeah. So you, so you did kind of date. Her a little bit. I wouldn't call it dating. Just a couple we days, kissed, like that... maybe twice. Okay. Yeah, we weren't boyfriend. You couldn't and tell that she was 13 years old. I mean, she don't even look 20 years old now, man. She looks like a kid. Well, she had makeup on. She, they can act older than what they are. Oh yeah. You know, you know, you need to let go of the past. I'm done with her. I'm 
mean, if it's going to cause as much trouble, I'm done. <laughs> say what you need to say to your mom. We'll be all right. She's right here. Just, you're fine. Uh, all I'm going to say Mom. is once I get out, I'm done. Are you? Uh, I'm not promise gonna, where? I promise where. I'm not going to come over here and hang out with you at all. As I don't mind if you hang out no, with me. Just as, don't get violent. No, as I didn't touch you. I tried to get my stuff out of the house and walk out. Okay. As long as you choose Eddie over me, mm -hmm. I'm done. Okay. I'm not gonna come over here and hang out with Whatever. you at all. Whatever. Listen, I, I don't know what the deal is with the two of you or how your relationship's been exactly. We have our problems. But like you said, she's very important to you because she's your child. Yeah. All right. Whatever it takes <laughs> to mend this relationship, that's what you need to do. That's your daughter. Looks like we got a burglary in progress. I don't know if we've got the guys in here or not, but uh, we'll see what we have when we get there. 118, you all have the station in regard, please. 118, station 254. There's a flashlight right there. He's there in the basement. You see him? 163. <laughs> Police department, announce yourself! Basement's gonna be your best spot. Yeah, I don't know how to get to it. Police! There's a basement here. Please get out! We're gonna a dog! Last chance! Please get out! We're gonna a dog! He will bite you! So here's all his... Hey, Nick, here's all those burglary tools and stuff. Oh, he's still in copper. You know, he's been in here probably two or three hours going through stuff and cutting all his wiring out. And we just cost him some money. Kenny, where you at? We got an attic upstairs. Oh, we can go look yeah. Where's your when you're ready. the attic access. The only place you have a check the attic. I don't think we can get up there. He's sitting. On, he's sitting on right there. Dude, you better get down. The dog's gonna bite you. Get down. Get down right now. He's right there. Get down. Oh, come on, get out. Get out. Dude, I'm gonna pull you down. Get down. Get down. Drop your shoulders. Let go. Let go. Turn your arm up. Shoulders. Turn. No, turn. Coming down, sir. Get out. Let go. Let go. Is there anybody else up there with you? No, sir. They left. Huh? They left. Nobody left. They We've left. been outside. Nobody left. They left before y'all got here, sir. No, nobody left. Whose else is up there? Nobody, sir. Yeah. You think you can climb up there and stick your head up there and look? There's no one else up there. You good? You think I'm going to take your word for it? Okay. I'm good. You've been hiding from us for 45 minutes. You think I'm going to take your word for it? Come on, we're going out, sir. Downstairs. I got the weed in my pocket. Anything else? Uh, a weed pipe. What pocket? Uh, big change pocket. Thing. Don't dig. I'm not. Weed's in the left pocket. What'd you come in here plan on doing? Be honest with me. Me? Yeah. You give me some money, man. I know. How are you going to make money? I don't know. Be honest with me. I don't know. Listen to me. All right, I'm going to be honest with you. Right now, it's a vacant house. Yeah. All right, you're looking at a trespass charge. All right, you got a crack pipe. No, that's a weed pipe. Weed pipe, it don't matter. All right. It's a pipe. All right. All right. I know you needed money. Right. What were you doing in a vacant house? Really? Where I live at? We going through some problems out there, for real. I know. And uh, I'm homeless, for real, man. OK. But, you know, I go do a little work here and there for the guy, you know, but the guy got Well, listen to me. There's a, there's a bag of tools down there. I know what you're doing. They know what you're doing. Yeah. All right, I want you to tell me what you're doing. Yeah, I, was getting, I was getting something where I could get me something to eat, man. What? Get me a Motis water and stuff. I understand you need something to eat and drink. Right. What were you doing down there? Stealing. Get straight with me. Stealing. Stealing what? Wire. Wire, copper wire? Right. All right, this isn't our first right. day. Right. We know right. what you're doing. That's what I was doing, man. Did you see us walk around the side with the flashlight? Yeah. That's when you ran upstairs? Yep. Yes, sir. How you fit in that little hole in the attic? Look at me. I'm little, man. 
We're little guys. I know you're little. You ain't that little. I, I know, know I couldn't fit in there. He couldn't fit in there. little guy. I got already got a warrant on me. All right, more than likely, you're gonna get a trespassing charge. I don't know what your warrants were. We're gonna check that in a second. You're gonna get a trespassing charge for being in there. All right, it's a vacant house. All right, there's signs all over the side of this building that say no trespassing. All right, I know what you're doing in there. All right, you get charged with the marijuana. All right, and any old warrants you got. Don't hide from the police. They will find you. This is over Dodge Magnum. It's taken off on me. It doesn't have any license plates. We have one that's stolen on the hot sheet. It's an 07. He's taken off uh, down this residential street. Hopefully, he's going to run into another officer. Requa from Park. <laughs> Trying to catch up to a silver Dodge Magnum. We're attempting to catch up to a stolen vehicle, high rate of speed. All right, 128, myself and uh, 173 are pursued. It's going to be the stolen Dodge Magnum. We're uh, westbound on Requa, crossing Monroe. And it just blew the red light at uh, Monroe, and he's foot bailing, he's bailing out of the car. 81 860, white shirt, khaki pants. White shirt, khaki pants. Go right towards you, go right towards you. He's running northbound towards the pool center complex. Get on the ground now, down. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Sorry. <sighs> 28, code four, one in custody. Tuck your leg under you. Oh. <laughs> you to shoot? Huh? I was going to shoot you at the taser. It's a good thing you went to the ground, because that would have hurt. But I appreciate you cooperating. How old are you, man? Way too old. For... You on probation or parole? I'm on probation. What for? For, um... For, uh, oh, for sales. For sales? Yeah. Yeah, I'll walk him out to the shade. Uh, it was right. when I got out. Hang on, let me make sure you ain't got nothing on you, and then I'll let you stretch. You got nothing, right? No. Sit up. All right, I just relax. You guys are probably doing me a favor right here. I swear to God. You say you're from Orange County? You know I was gonna stop you when you saw me turn around, huh? It's a problem, my man. That's a stolen vehicle. But I'm sure you know that already. I bought it off somebody on the streets. I know I'm, I'm better than that. That's a 07 Dodge Magnum. You better paid like 30 grand for that. I know. Go ahead and fold this knee in. Well, man, you're gonna get the help whether you wanted it or not. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't given up his name, so he's on probation for dope. Sales. Well, that car's been on our uh, hot sheet for about a week now, and we've been looking for it. When I saw it in the downtown area, initially it didn't have any license plates on it, and when I made the U-turn to catch up to it, he started blowing stop signs. At that point, I kind of realized that was probably going to be the stolen car. This is what you're going to be charged for, Robert. In addition to your violation of probation, you will be charged for driving a stolen vehicle, possession of stolen property, leading police on a pursuit, and then running and resisting. You understand? Sorry about that. Man. OK. Hey, um. Take Thank care of you, yourself. Man. No, thanks, man. All right. Anyhow. Man, he quickly surrendered. He petered out pretty quick. I had him at once at Taser Point. He turned, slipped, and then I went ahead of him north, and he came right at me again, and then he gave up when he saw the Taser. He's trying to give me the story that he, he just bought this car, and I'm like, well, it's a 07 Dodge Magnum. Would you pay 30 grand? He goes, oh, man, I know I'm stupid. I messed up. As soon as we came around the corner, he was jumping in bail and left this car in gear and was out on foot. So he's ultimately just begging for help right now. He's got a drug problem, he says. He's on uh, probation for sales. It's a good chance that he's probably going to go back to prison. 
Uh, at least the car's not crashed. It's in one piece. It's in good condition, and nobody got hurt. En route to a uh, large fight in the street right now. There's supposed to be several parties on the ground, so we're going to be en route to see what's up. What's going on, man? They called the cops for me and my daddy, man. Hey, man. Hey. I'm calling up blood, dog. Come over here and talk to me. Don't, don't put your hands on me like that, though. Listen, you can talk, talk to me, but don't put your hands on me, though. You need to calm down right now. I'm calming down, but don't put your hands on me like that, though. You stay around right now. Listen to me. My son. Listen to I'm me. I'm coughing up blood, cuz. Listen to me. You and hit... I, I, I don't mean to bring this on your house and everything, <clears throat> but this can hit me in my jaw. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna even with him like that, cuz this is Hey, son. listen to me. Quit yelling. No. I'm not yelling, man. I'm talking, cuz. No, you're talking way too loud. You need to tone Let it down. Go. You hear me? Yes, sir. Now listen to me. I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I can't figure out what's going on when you're yelling. My jaw broke, man. Okay? Do you need an ambulance to come out here and look at you? No. I just okay. want to just walk and just be on my way, man. Okay. Talk to Get me. my hat. Talk to you, man. He's hot. broke my jaw, hey, my own here. son, Talk man. Talk to me. Who's your son? Right here. Well, what's going on today, man? He kept arguing about this stuff back and forth, man, because he's been drinking a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So he's been arguing back and forth. And I'm trying to calm him down, you know what I'm saying? I talk, we cussing, you know what I'm saying? We exchanging words or whatever. No threats or anything. But I'm trying to tell him, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to stop talking to him, you know what I'm saying? So we can calm down so Because I ain't trying to argue my dad. It's my daddy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Birth daddy at that. But kept on going, one thing led to another man. Then he got to the point where he wanted to fight. He done walked down the street, you know what I'm saying? He, he talking, he took my phone, took my, key, took my keys, okay. threw my keys, broke my phone, just got a $200 phone, broke it. So you're saying you hit him, though? I mean, how did he get his mouth bloody? He, I did hit him, but before I got to that, I did not hit I did not hit, uh, had a first word. He pushed me, okay. stopped pushing me. He kept putting his hands in my face, hands in my face. He pushed me again, so I slapped him. Okay, that's not how he got his mouth busted open, though. He kept putting his hands in my face. I kept moving his hand, get out of my face. I hate when somebody put their hands in my face. He kept on going, so then I hit him. No, if you talking about I got to fight with somebody, I ain't fight with nobody. Let me tell you something, man. If you don't stay right where I told you, I'm gonna put you in handcuffs and put you in the back of this car. You see what I'm saying? Is this your husband? Okay. That's his dad. Okay. My husband took my son's keys. Keys in his phone. Keys out of the car. He took his phone out of the car, started walking down the side of this street right here. And then said, he said, that's why I got your right the keys and your right the phone. So he threw the keys and threw the phone down and broke his phone. Okay. And then he came back and pulled out some stuff out of some wires and put them up under his car. And then that's what started the fight. But he kept pushing Zach. So Zach didn't have a choice but to hit him back. Has either one of them been arrested for assault on the other before? How long ago was that? Not even a year. Not even a year? Which one was the aggressor? Do you remember? He was. Your husband was? Uh -huh. He told me the dad shoved him first. From what I can gather speaking with him, he said, man, I tried to give him every chance to yeah. get out of my face to quit pushing me. He said he pushed me twice, rubbed his hand in my face three times. Yeah. He said after that, I, I, was, I, I had to do something. He wasn't going to stop. From what I understand as well, you know, he grabbed his son's phone and keys. Threw it out in the middle of the Took road. off down the road. He said he broke them. Yep, broke them so. on the side of the road, and that got the son inflamed, you know. Yeah. The son goes up, starts talking smack to him. That's when the dad starts pushing yeah. him. And, and the son, in retaliation, basically self-defense to get his dad off of him. Hey, come here, man. Yes, sir. Hold on. You got anything illegal on you? No. Turn around for me. Clear. Spray your feet. Do you think you had too much to drink today? No, sir, at all. You're always this volatile and out here causing problems? Well, I, didn't, I haven't done nothing. I haven't done nothing wrong. I'm sure you have. Okay. Whatever, whatever, man. Have a seat in the car, man. You got three and four. Why am I being charged with? Getting charged with domestic assault. I didn't hit nobody. Let me ask you this. You've been charged in the past for domestic assault against your son, is that correct? No. He's hit me every time okay. and I plead guilty to it. He brought you over here to help him. That didn't mean you're supposed to get over here, be too drunk, break his phone, and then I, start I'm a fight with drunk, him. I'm not drunk, sir. Okay. I'm not drunk, sir. Do you understand putting your hands on somebody is assault and that's illegal? Hang tight for a minute. I'm going to take him down to the jail. When he gets out, if he comes up, tries to even talk to you, get something from you, call you on the phone, call us back, OK? Because that's a violation of his conditions of release, and he's going to go straight back to jail. <laughs> We had two suspicious white males on bicycles. Uh, one's wearing a backpack, and uh, they're riding 
erratically all over the road, and uh, we're going to try and stop them. It looks like one of them's trying to take off from me right now, so uh, we're going to try to catch up to them and see what we got. Stop! Come here! <laughs> Don't go for me. Okay. Get on your face. Okay. Get on your face. Don't oh, relax. That's my face is smashing, dude. You're right. Put your hands behind your back. Yep. Oh, Don't move. Oh, okay. Put your hand behind I your back. You twisted the wrong way. What are you running for? You got your ID with you? Um, him and another guy were crossing the street over there on Farrell, on Andreas, riding all over the road. Obviously, the closer I got to him, the faster he pedaled. I came up from behind here, starts hauling the parking lot, try to stop behind him. I say, man, stop. And he goes, no, you're crazy, and kept going. You got any needles in this no, thing? No, I got no needles at all. Hey, look. That's your pipe. I'm right around the corner. Go ahead. Go ahead. Broken pipe. Okay. Broken, smashed. That's gonna re-blow it. It doesn't matter. Is the other guy on the bicycle, is he your buddy, or? Yeah, that's fine. All right, Steve, right now you're gonna be under arrest for uh, possession of your pipes. Running from the police. Yeah, I didn't it doesn't matter. You just have to be in possession of that kind of stuff. We have an FC now. If you slide forward, you can fit the cut. There you go. Just hang out in there and relax. He's got bolt cutters right here. And we've had several burglaries in the area over there at the um, storage facilities where they're cutting locks on the storage garages. We've been getting a lot of these calls at like 3.30, 4 o'clock in the morning. And if he's up on methamphetamine, he'll go for four days straight and not get any sleep. Hey, Steve, you know why you're going to jail? All right, we're gonna go back to the station right now and process this man's property and uh, book him into the jail. I noticed out there in the street I was telling one of the officers we found these um, methamphetamine pipes. Whenever you find methamphetamine pipes, um, somewhere in here, there's got to be some methamphetamine somewhere. So I just got to go through here and make sure, uh, based on all my experience, usually when you find something like this, see, these are all of his burglary tools. He uses these to, to break into houses and burglaries and things like that. So here are his tools. It's a misdemeanor to carry these kind of items around. Um, you got things. He's got all kinds of little gadgets and flashlights in here. Um, yeah, see right here? There it is. That's methamphetamine right here. I'm going to put a little bit of this, which I believe is methamphetamine, inside this test kit, and we'll crack the glass. And if it's methamphetamine, it'll come back brown. Let the chemicals run together, shake it up a little bit, and you can see how it starts turning yellow. And then it, the longer it sits there, the more brown it will turn, which tests positive for amphetamines. We'll go ahead and charge them with a felony on that one. <laughs> 